Welcome to the 5th Annual Alt Car Expo. It's the premier place to find the latest, greatest, and greenest in clean car technology. This year's expo is bigger and better than ever, with more guest speakers, more exhibits, and more cars, including major players like the all-electric Nissan LEAF and the brand new Chevy Volt. The last few years haven't exactly been the best of times at GM, so the company is hoping this low-emission, mid-size sedan will help buff some of the luster back into its tarnished image, and perhaps jumpstart a domestic clean car revolution. But if this has you thinking the Bowtie brand has gone soft, think again. The Volt simply presents a cleaner, more efficient version of the good old American muscle that put Chevy on the map. The Chevrolet Volt's got electric balls, so to speak. This Chevrolet Volt, because it's got an electric drive, instant torque, throws your head back. It's a different kind of muscle. It's, it's, a, it's an efficient muscle. Um, it's an electric muscle. You sort of get that bzzz as, as you drive away. It's, it's, it's sort of very futuristic. Not to be outdone, Japanese automaker Nissan burst onto the scene at the Alt Car Expo to show off the all-electric LEAF and to kick off their nationwide drive electric tour. Nissan believes that the Leaf's versatility and range put this sporty sedan at the head of its class. Well, the Nissan Leaf is the first affordable, mass market, all electric, zero emission vehicle. So we're the ones coming to market bringing a vehicle that has no tailpipe, no gas, goes 100 miles, and can seat five passengers and basically meet all your daily needs of a primary driving vehicle. Another automaker that created quite a buzz at the expo was Santa Monica-based Coda Automotive. Their affordable yet stylish all-electric Coda sedan boasts 90 to 120 mile range, 80 mile per hour top speeds, and an advanced thermal management system that keeps the battery working perfectly in any climate. Coda spokesman Daryl Harrison thinks the company's Santa Monica roots give them an edge over the competition in the clean car market. Santa Monica is, for all intents and purposes, the EV epicenter. Um, we wanted to be in a place where um, electric vehicle technology um, was at its prime, where at, at its hub. But really, Santa Monica, um, as a city, has done a lot uh, in the way of sustainability. Um, you know, a number of members from, the, from city council to uh, the mayor have all really focused on making sustainability uh, very important in the future of the city. Uh, the city started back in about 1993 with the Sustainable City Plan and the, uh, we've evolved through the years with the reduced emissions fuel policy and we now have 87% of the fleet operating on alternative fuels. We have things like this here, the Zero Truck, that's an all-electric truck, it's a service truck, it works out great for us. It has a 60 mile range, which is more than we can drive in Santa Monica in one day. So it works good. We've had it in service for about four months and the operators love it. The Alt Car Expo isn't just about alternative cars. In fact, the event features many alternatives to the car, like bikes, electric motorcycles, even public transportation, like this hybrid Mini Blue from Santa Monica's Big Blue Bus. The local transit company is going the extra mile to cut their carbon footprint by investing in the latest eco-friendly transit technology. 43% of the Big Blue fleet runs on cleaner burning liquefied natural gas, while their neighborhood Mini Blue buses are gasoline electric hybrids. Riding the blue is a great way to go green and save a little too. Many of the cars on display here at the Alt Car Expo are available now, while cars like the Leaf and the Chevy Volt will be available in showrooms by the end of the year. The Alt Car Expo is absolutely free to attend, and tire kicking is definitely encouraged. So bring the family, but leave that gas guzzler at home, and test drive something greener. For Santa Monica Update, I'm Ned Rolsma.